Hi, in the previous lecture, we done the testing of sending email from SAP system using subject from to CC and BCC. So what we'll do now, we'll go for the next session and this time we'll learn like how to send an internal table as an email attachment. A very common requirement, most of the time, we get this requirement like you want to send some report or some data by selecting data from different table, send that to the internal user or the external recipient as an email attachment in Excel file, PDF file, etc. So the scenario here I'm considering is like, we'll select the data of purchase order, EKKO and EKPO table, and we'll pass the data as an Excel attachment. So for that, first we have to do some data declaration, we require a string, so this is data declaration lv underscore string of type is string. Then we required one string table. Okay. And then we required one x string and a binary table. So this data declaration part we have to add. And after this, the steps are first select the data into internal table. Okay. Suppose we have selected data from EKKO and EKPO into internal table. Then when we are then next, we have to make a loop at internal table and we have to concatenate all the columns which we want to attach in the Excel and we have to separate by using CL underscore ABAP carry utilities horizontal tab. Okay, so this will add a tab between two columns. And then next, we have to concatenate or append this string into the string table using a new line method of the same class. So this will add the columns in the same row separated by a tab. In each column will get one value and this will add each record in a new line. Okay, then we can add the header to the first line. After that, we have to convert this string table into X string using this function model. SCM underscore string to X string. And when we have the data into X string, we can convert that into the binary table. And then we can call the method add attachment of this class and pass the binary table to this method. So this all we'll learn in this session. Now let's go back to our SAP system and first do the data declaration of this part. So here what I will do, first we'll declare, we'll do the data declaration. So LV underscore string, type is string, string table, X string and binary table. Okay. So now here I will make use of new web syntax. I am making use of new web syntax. Okay. I'm not changing any other details as of now. We'll keep that as it is. So as we know, the purchase order table are EKKO as a header table and EKPO as a line item table. Okay, so I will select like A, E, B, E, L, N, A, A, U, date, three field from the header table. Okay, and we have to separate it by comma here and A underscore Lifner. And from EKPO table, B underscore E, B, E, L, P, then B then B Matnar, I will select a material code, then B like from uh, TXZ01, then from the EKPO table. See, if you want to see the field name, if you don't know the field name in all, go to SE2L, go to EKKO, and select the field which you want to add. Similar for the EKPO, go to SE2L, open table EKPO, check the fields, which we want to add in your Excel attachment and select that. Fine. So next I will select here B underscore mensch, which is the quantity field. Then I'll select net price and the total price. So B underscore net PR and B, sorry, not underscore, it's a web sign, B uh, net WR, it is not underscore. Okay, so I'm making an inner join. So from EKKO as A, 
inner join AKPO as B on A EBLN equals to B EBLN and I am selecting limited records. So let's say up to 20 records. No, sorry, 20 rows, not record to 20 rows. Okay. So into table in and declaration, I direct data gt underscore po. Save, check, activate, no error. Fine. So now once we select the data into internal table, what we have to do? Always first clear the lv underscore string. LV underscore a string table and our table it underscore binary. Okay. Now make a loop. Loop at gt underscore po in line declaration assigning field symbol fs and loop. Now what, what is my requirement? I want each value, EPLN, AEDAT, etc., into a <coughs> separate column in the Excel file. So we have to concatenate all these columns into LV underscore string separated by CL underscore adapt carry utilities horizontal tab. Okay. Horizontal tab we have to do. So what I will write concatenate fs hyphen ebeln then fs hyphen a date the next is lifner the next is ebelp after ebelp the next is matnar now here, okay, the next is TXZ01. Now here is some change we required. So first, let me add as it is. Okay, I'm adding just first value as of now. I'm adding just mench and see the error here. Concatenate all this into LV underscore LV underscore string separated by CL underscore ABAP underscore care underscore utilities class and the met <coughs> horizontal tab. Fine. I just want to separate it by horizontal tab. If you see error here, because the mench it is not a character field and we can concatenate only character number, dates, and string. Okay, not other. So, what we have to do similarly for the net PR and the net WR. So, we have to declare, declare a character variable for this. Okay. So here, what I will do, I will declare three more variables, care variables. Okay, care var. Data lv underscore mench c character <coughs> length twenty. Then lv underscore net pr again twenty. Then lv underscore net wr again twenty. Okay, so now here, what we have to do before concatenate, we have to pass the value to the local variable lv underscore mench c equals to fs mench and condense this lv underscore mench. Similarly, for the quantity field lv underscore net prc, I will pass here like fs hyphen net PR, same condense LV underscore net PR C variable, and last LV underscore net WR car variable FS hyphen net WR, and then condense the same condense LV underscore net WR. Check net pr c is unknown let me check what value again net pr sorry i forgot to give you a c 
So we'll just add that here. Net WR C. Okay. So what I have done was I declared the three variable of cal type, and now we have to add here those variable. LV underscore mench C, LV underscore net PRC, and LV underscore net WR C. Okay. Now, see what we have done like into this table. So, this is the horizontal type. We got the value in LV string. Now, we have to concatenate this LV string into a string table but separated by a new line so that the each record will come under a new line. Okay. So, what I will do here, I will write concatenate LV underscore a string and LV underscore a string underscore table into lv underscore string underscore table separated by cl underscore app carry utilities and my method is new line okay and we will just clear here the lv string not a string table save check and activate Fine. So what we have done till now, we have selected the data into internal table. We make a loop, and inside the loop, inside the loop, first we have separate all the columns into LV underscore string, separated by horizontal tab, because I want each column in the new column of Excel, and each record in a new row. For that, we are collecting all this string data into a string table, separated by a new line. Fine. So, what next we have to do? After this, we have to convert the string table into X string using this class, uh, using this function model. And then X string to binary using this function model. Okay. And then finally, attachment. Okay. So, that all we'll learn in the next session. Thank you.